Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial for you guys. Yeah, I was just scrolling through my YouTube and I saw there are different kind of spring makeup tutorial with fresh skin, glowing skin and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I should also film something like this for you guys. A fresh skin spring makeup look. It's obviously not spring right now. But still, we can just pretend that it's spring and and we can just see such a beautiful weather around us and we can just feel a little bit good with this makeup look anyways today we are going to do that i'm going to show you guys a fresh skin glowing uh, red lip makeup look for spring i can also create few colorful looks first i was thinking like let's create something very colorful first i'm going to show you guys something which you can actually do which you can actually wear a wearable makeup tutorial and after that i can do something for fun you know i hope you guys will enjoy today's video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah let's get started okay, so first i am going to prep up my skin a little bit because prepping up your skin is really really important for a fresh glowing skin skincare product you're actually using is very very important no matter what foundation you're using your skin needs to feel healthy your skin needs to feel glowy and fresh so first i'm going to use my pixie toner obviously a mini version and this one is the pixie glow tonic exfoliating toner and i really 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 like this one you can actually purchase it from a website i'm gonna mention it in the description below but there are so many other websites where you can actually get authentic original like international makeup products or skincare products so yeah i'm just going to take my cotton ball and i'm gonna use this all over my skin it actually gives my skin such a refreshing feeling and you can definitely see the glow after that i'm gonna use a serum and this one is from glamaroma this one is their bridal glow serum and this is a really 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 beautiful serum this is actually a night serum but i actually love using this whenever i am doing any kind of makeup tutorial why after using this your skin actually feels so good so refreshing so glowing so yeah i always like to add this you can go for any other like glowing serum so yeah as you guys can see this is what my skin is looking like and it's like super glowy I just love it. Part is to apply a moisturizer. You can apply any moisturizer that you have. I'm using this one from Bellflower. This one is their glowing face cream and I absolutely love this because I am an oily combination skin person. So this is not at all like oily or sticky or something like that. I just love using this moisturizer. You can definitely use anything that suits you but personally if you want to get a glowing fresh skin three step is like must like mandatory first toner then a serum then a moisturizer and after that you can apply your foundation my skin is looking super glowy and fresh so now what I am going to do, I am going to let this settle into my skin for a few minutes and before doing my foundation, I am going to do my eye makeup first. After that, I can do my foundation. First, I am going to use my uh, Inside Cosmetics Pro Concealer to just, just have a nice base for my eyeshadow. I am going to use a round brush like this and I am just going to blend out everything. my concealer using my Maybelline fit me powder and this is a powder that I actually love using so I'm just going to set 
my concealer. My eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. This one is a Reloaded Neutrals 2 palette. And as you guys can see, you have all pink shades right over here. You have some brown, some mauve, some shimmer. So for today's look, I am actually going to use a little bit of brown and I'm going to mix a little bit of pink with it. So yeah, I think first, I, I think I'm going to only use two colors for today. First, I think I'm going to take this color and I'm going to mix it up with this one right over here. Blending this color right above my crease line. this uh, deep brownish color right over here and uh, I think I am just going to use this to just like bring some depth right over here just right over here so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my sugar cosmetics eyeliner this one is their wingman waterproof micro liner and I'm gonna line my eyes but I'm gonna do a little bit of foxy eye which is a trend right now if you want a like dedicated tutorial how I do foxy eyes and stuff then do let me know my eyes are looking right now I just added some eyelashes and my mascara from Faces Canada after that my lower lash line then my lips and stuff like that so first let's start with our face makeup so for my face I am actually not going to use a foundation today because I just want this natural like glowing skin so I'm just gonna use my Swiss Beauty BB cream now this is a BB cream but it actually feels like foundation so you just need a little bit and another thing that I don't like about this BB cream you actually don't have that much shade option so that's the reason this is actually not my shade it's a bit lighter for my skin and why I like this uh, BB cream it's because like see it's so light for my skin Like see my skin is looking so beautiful but I don't like this white like you can see a white finishing which is really bad but you can actually manage it with some bronzer that's the reason you have to be very careful with this BB cream you have to take a very little amount or else you can go with the Pons BB cream as well but it's not the same but still if you want a BB cream you can use it if you want something a good quality then you can go for the LA girls BB cream it's really good
and I am gonna do a little trick. I'm just gonna take this concealer right over here because I just want that snatched finishing. It's a quick tip if you want let's see I kind of finishing you can actually do this thing your face will look very snatched what I'm gonna do I am gonna blend it just like this I'm not going to move the concealer I'm just gonna blend it as it is Do not move the concealer. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and I am gonna take my beauty sponge and I am just, go just gonna use my blender as a powder brush and I am just gonna press this like this. It's not basically baking but this will give you a very beautiful like air brushed kind of finish will actually keep that snatched look for a longer period of time take the same amount and i'm just going to press the powder just like this ryan little <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this for a few minutes actually now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my bronzer from absolute New York and I'm just going to bronze up my skin just a little bit I'm looking very funny I know that but again you're gonna take your sponge and you're gonna dab it to blend out everything well this is what my skin is looking like now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna now for my blush I'm gonna take this blush from faces Canada take my faces Canada blush now this looks very dangerous but this is a really really pretty brush brush blush very careful with this blush it's very pigmented so yeah I'm just gonna use it right over here now again i am going to use my makeup fixer this one is this video is not at all sponsored by faces canada so this one is the ultimate pro makeup fixer and i like it this is not my favorite if you want your skin to be glowy and dewy you can actually use this one i personally don't really like the spray i don't know why but i'm gonna spray this all over my skin lash line I actually used the same brown shade and I used some mascara underneath and that's it there is another important step which is highlighter so I'm gonna use my all-time favorite wet and wild highlighter this is my absolute favorite highlighter like this is the perfect everyday highlighter i just love it i'm really 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 happy with how everything actually turned out now the last step i'm gonna use my swiss beauty red lip liner and i think this is in the shade l15 and this is the lip liner that i'm gonna use and for my lipstick i'm gonna use this particular lipstick from blue heaven this is what it looks like this is a perfect red shade like a beautiful uh, dark red shade not dark actually but a beautiful red shade and this is in the shade 01 I purchased it like three months ago and I never actually used this so today is the first time that I'm using this liquid lipstick I think so so I'm just gonna line my lips <laughs> is the finished look 
and I am loving how everything turned out and I am just loving how glowy how beautiful my makeup is looking right now especially with this lip color I will not say this is my absolute favorite lip color or something like this because it actually dries up your lips very very badly not like a liquid lipstick like this this is a very beautiful red color It'll suit every skin tone and I just really love how everything actually turned out so yeah guys i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video and find this video really helpful make sure to check the description box below everything will be mentioned down there i love you guys so 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 much thank you so much for watching please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys on my next video some of you niggas look dusty they need a maintenance bitch Everybody hit the floor, you got bottles, I got more